Welcome friends, this is your favorite channel, Dit Speaks. Here we will provide information regarding various events occurred on specific dates through our videos. In this video, date 7 January speaks about scientific inventions occurred. First we will talk about francium. In 1930, the element francium was discovered the last naturally occurring element to be found. It is the heaviest alkali metal atom with atomic number 87. Margaret Perry joined the Radium Institute in Paris in October 1929 as a technician for Marie Curie. Perry worked for years on actinium which was anticipated to produce new element by alpha decay. Finally, she was able to make the first entry about francium in her lab notebook on 7 Jan 1939, recording its half-life as about 20 minutes. A note in the reports was presented at the Academy of Sciences by Jean Perrin on 9 Jan 1939. In his periodic table, Mendeleev anticipated its discovery and provisionally named it Acacium. Perry gave it the name Francium. She first used the symbol Fa but changed it to Fr. Now we will talk about Transatlantic Telephone. In 1927, commercial telephone service using radio began between New York and London. Now we will talk about Thermal cracking patent. In 1913, a US patent for the thermal cracking of crude oil was issued to William Mariam Burton. A crude petroleum mixture of various hydrocarbons can be separated into several groups of constituents by physical means, commonly distillation. His thermal cracking process used high heat and high pressure to chemically break longer molecules of less volatile components into smaller molecules, more than doubling the yield of gasoline which was much needed to the fuel the motor industry. In its first 15 years of use, the process saved more than 1 billion barrels of crude oil. In 1937, the invention of catalytic cracking superseded the Burton process but it remains in wide use. Now we will talk about spoon craters. In 1610, Galileo dated his first letter describing telescopic observations in which he saw the moon's cratered surface using his 20 powered spyglass. He wrote, it is seen that the moon is most evidently not at all off and even smooth and regular surface, as a great many people believe of it and of the other heavenly bodies, but on the contrary, it is rough and unequal. In short, it is shown to be such that sand reasoning cannot conclude otherwise than that it is full of prominences and cavities similar, but much larger to the mountains and valleys spread over the earth's surface. Galileo went on to describe the phenomena in considerable detail, rehearsing, as it were, the observations and conclusions he was to publish more elaborately a few months later in Sidereus. If you like our content, please like and share our videos and also subscribe our channel Date Speaks. Thank you.